What's up guys, finally back with some more content. You guys can start expecting me to post a lot more often now. Um, but yeah, we're today we're gonna be doing like a day in the life type deal where I just kinda take you guys along with me throughout the day and show you guys what I've been up to. Uh, it's currently February 13th, so we're kinda nearing the end of the off season, about to leave to play some events here in a couple weeks. But I figured I'd take you guys along, show you guys kinda what I've been up to this off season. Every day is not quite the same, but pretty close. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Get some morning putts in. I've had a few people ask me why we have a basket out front, because I posted like a couple videos on Instagram and TikTok, mainly us doing like some trick shots on it, I think. But uh, the truth is we're actually really close with our neighbors. And last year I kind of dealt with an injury, so we were all outside, like out front together a lot. And I kind of got their kids, like, interested in disc golf. So they'd always, like, ask me to go get my portable basket out, like, multiple times a day. Eventually, I just kind of got tired of, like, carrying it back and forth. So I just kind of ended up buying a sleeve and putting it out here. Nobody's really said anything yet. Hopefully, somebody from the city doesn't come by and make us take it out. But it's been pretty convenient just to come out front and practice. And me, me and the neighbors kind of use it, like, interchangeably. Both of us use it. I just got, like, a set of, like, kind of beat up pa threes in there that i putt with and that they that they use from time to time they're kind of like always all over the place out here but let's get some putts in so we kind of got like a little putting course set up out here we like put flags in 18 of them kind of all around a couple of them are missing since it's gotten to winter but we kind of know where all of them are this is some of the indiana problems sometimes sometimes you got like a little icy bottom that you kind of got to like melt with your fingers because your fingers are so warm but this is kind of how it is sometimes <laughs> Peeking in the morning rituals, just got done with some putting. Neighbor kids finally come out. They always want me to go with them to do stuff. Say what's up to the vlog. <laughs> you say hi. Don't have to go for you, kids. Yeah. They kids in their happy meals, man. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, so a little behind the scenes here. We're over at the bus stop. These two are about ready to get on the bus. Hudson and Noah but sometimes if I'm up early enough usually like I'll come outside and putt and then eventually they come outside and some like most of the time I'll hang out with them in the morning I'm just saying hi <laughs> um hang out hang out with them in the morning um hang out with this guy Austin. we're all we're all like super close kind of like a second family next door so that's pretty fun um yeah let's get them on the bus Aw, Cassandra's so sweet. <laughs> Hudson, should I get you a happy meal today? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Can you give me Pokemon cards? Give me a happy meal today. Give me Hudson, there's your bus. Look at Austin, he's out there just being a great dad. Just, he's, just a, he's just a great dad. What's your, what's your comments behind the scenes, Noah? Huh? What's your comments behind the scenes? Austin just being a great dad. Mm, that's a There's a D DIY dad tutorial right there. So we got back, got some more putts in. Now we're about to go sit and hang out with the neighbors. Uh, he's still got to put his other son Camden on the bus, and we usually go get coffee. So... We're gonna do that. Shorts and flip flops was not the move this morning. Yo, we got Camden looking fly over here, man. Waiting on Camden's bus. This is the time of day where me and Austin sit outside and talk shit. <laughs> Just a lovely morning we're having here. All right, we got Austin Quorum, little guest appearance. See if he can bang. Anything from outside the circle. 
Comment down below, should he enter a tournament? Okay, not bad. Oh, I got some chains. There we go, one out of three. 33% from circle two, not bad. Yep, comment down below, should he enter a tournament? Trying, trying to get him to play one. He's been playing and improving pretty good. His putting stroke's looking a lot better ever since I worked with him, so there we go. Bro, I downloaded McDonald's on these kids' oh, tablet and they, they're always trying to order Happy Meals on here. That'd be a good uh, McDonald's app thing. Oh yeah. Day in the life of a preschooler. Get up, get dressed, get on McDonald's app, look for Happy Meals. <laughs> Perfect. That's funny. All right, it's coffee time. Sixth Street Coffee is where it's at. Let's go. We're off to a great day when it comes to financial decisions here. He spent $9, I spent like $5 on, those, on coffee. We have a series that we've been making called The Finance Chronicles. Comment down below if you think I should post it. We got some pretty funny episodes there. All right, I was craving some donuts. We're going around the corner. We're getting some donuts and we're gonna enjoy some donuts and coffee and jump into our day. All right, mocha frappe this morning. Giving it a nine out of 10, pretty good. What's your thoughts, Austin? Street coffee, that's where you should get your coffee if you're in Burr, Indiana. They're pretty good. Now that we got some breakfast in us, it's Austin's day off, so he's kind of hanging out with me a little bit today. We're about to head up to Mac and get around in, picking our buddy Patrick up. He's a, he's a character, so be, <laughs> be, be in for one here. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys when we're at the course. Yo, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Big Pimp and P on the lawn. Dude, they, these guys are future in-laws when their kids are about to start pulling the riz on each other in 15 years. <laughs> Our little warm-up soon. The OG baskets, man. These are some old, old like Mach 1 style or like super old spider web. I can't tell. I might get hit if I don't watch out. <laughs> Dude, Austin's got to show off his $22 disc, man. The GTM2, man. Not gonna lie, Austin's looking pretty good this morning. Could we? We might possibly see his first under par round. He's looking pretty solid. Nailed some putts, looking pretty good in warm ups. We'll see what happens. Okay, not bad. A little backdoor route. It's in the middle. Solid. Let me go now. If you want to. A little high. Be a little scramble time. P3 and PA5, two off the tee. This is not how we wanted to start the day today. At least this was the second shot, so my first one's pretty parked and Austin banging a par. Good start. It's up top. I got it. Oh, I got him. <laughs> All right. Flexi flex. Nailed the tree in the middle. Well, we were we're off to a promising start. 
Just landed in the wrong course. Literally two courses right next to each other. You got the Muni over here. This is one of the sickest holes here. Like 680 downhill. But we're playing over here. All right, a little shoe shout out. We got the Idio Sports Syncrasies. Uh, had them for about seven months so far. So far, they're the best disc golf shoe I've ever worn. Uh, the traction's still really good. I mean, the tread's kind of worn off a little bit, but you kind of expect that with a lot of use. But my favorite part about them is like the bolstered up front part. Uh, usually with other shoes, I have problems with like this separating, usually with after uh, four or five months, but these are still holding strong. Use my code at the checkout. Got a link in the description. How do you feel about that, Austin? Patrick, you better Patrick, you better make it. This, this is framed up beautifully for you. Disappointment. Boom! Double bogey. Double bogey. Yeah. <laughs> The hell? Dude, that's how we like them. Tapping birdies all day. Dude, we just saw the worst spit out ever. Hit off the top nub, down in the cage, and out. How do you feel about that? Shitty as hell. <laughs> 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 I'm walking away. <laughs> <laughs> I was a double bogey. I'm looking at That is horse shit. <laughs> How many points if I hit Austin's awesome car? Seventeen. Okay. Great shot by Elijah Bickle. Really okay. well, he didn't leave it. That wasn't a bad effort. He said he was going to ace for you through, so. Uh, I didn't know what to say about that. <laughs> Patrick went Boomtown Destroyer on a 220 foot downhill hole from up there, <laughs> all the way down here, like 150 long. <laughs> right, now we're embarking on the most aceable hole in Peru. Hole eight, you know it, 154 uphill, basically wide open, a, little, a couple trees, but nice ace shot. Oh, whack. You got a pretty mouth. Let me shake it out. Pissing it off. Oh, oh I actually. <laughs> that was okay. Oh, I'm I'm Stand back six feet apart. I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm not even going to get. I should not slip any shit in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to get an ace on this hole on video finally because this is too easy of a hole to not have an ace on the camera. He's on a dang it. Oh my goodness. So close. Yeah. All right, we're doing the traditional little thing we do at Mac Park when we play casual rounds. There's this little concrete pad over here by the shelter house. Uh, I'll turn around and show you guys. A little concrete pad over by the shelter house. And we try to make it in the hippo's mouth over here. And if you make it in, you get a stroke off your score. Only for casual rounds. Let's see what we can do. Do it. I'm talking and, about. And it's bit. You ready? All right, Patrick, back me up, man. All right, Austin, let's see what he's got. Oh, 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 almost close. Player B. Maybe. Ow. <laughs> 
All right, we getting serious up in here. But he's coming off. Right now. Here's now Cardinal Disc Golf, Code Bickle. EB jersey. All right, let's show it off a little closer. We got the nice orange and gray colorway Cardinal EB jersey. Absolutely love the way it came out. Go get you one if you want to support me out on tour. Um, all the Cardinal disc golf designs are sick. So if you want to actually grab some other players as well, use my code at checkout. It actually supports both of us. So go, go snaggy one or, or a few. Bro, why do I keep missing all the good moments? Austin's just banging putts and I keep missing them. I just gotta give him his credit, man. Or credit's due. I mean, I'm about the best there is. Hey, Paul, hey. Yeah. Dude, Austin's yeah. the Austin's the goat at putting. I'm done for, man. Austin's the goat, man. Best in the business. Yeah. The best in the You're business. Best in the business. Yep. You wanna know what Austin's good at? He's the best FedEx Second delivery day. driver of all time. That's right. Yeah. So That's if you need you any packages delivered to your house. Austin Corum, you can count on him. Yep. Greatest of all time. Might be a little broke. <laughs> I'm a broke dude. All right, we got our M2. We're about to show Patrick here how to throw a proper roller because he claims to be the best at rollers, but we got to show him how it's done. Eat butt. Best roller ever. <laughs> hey, the pimp's that way. <laughs> That, that. Right, we're walking up on the best view in Peru. It's got a lot of trees in the way, but you can see a lot of the town from over here. Austin Corn with his money D2. Dude, that's good. Holy crap. They look good. <laughs> Shout out Danny for these putters, they're sick. Little right side. Wouldn't be a Mac practice round without trying to throw in a 17s basket. About 5.30, big Annie. So let's see what we can do with the foul core. Wind kind of sucks, so. All right, PA5, best flippy disc ever to make. Forehand shots look like backhand. Gonna throw this on like this much hyzer and it's gonna be good. All right, practice round over. Fun time with them as always. We dropped Patrick off because we can only deal with him for so long. He's a, he's a character, but not sure what's next. I think we're, I think Austin's gonna go get cammed out of school and we're gonna have a fun time, so. Get haircuts. Get haircuts, I need one so bad. We're all looking scruffy. Yeah. It's that, it's that, it's that wintertime blues, man. Yo, we got a cammed and car him up in here. Austin's that cool dad that picks his kid up. I thought I could zoom in. Austin's that cool dad that picks his kid up early from school. Camden don't like nap time, man. He don't want to take a nap, so we got him early. Yo, this kid's a G, man. He just gave me a sucker. I wonder what flavor it is. Is some life, lifesaver one? I can't tell. i to read it. All right, a little update on the day. Uh, after we got home from the practice round, we ended up going to the barber shop. I got a fresh cut. I went with Austin and his kids. Now we're just kind of sitting here eating some lunch. We got some chips and dip. Austin's got some hot pockets. Um, not really sure what I'm doing the rest of the day, but I'll bring you guys along for whatever it is. What's up, everybody? We're back at the house downstairs, kind of sorting through some discs. For those who don't know, I actually bought Gannon Burr's um, entire project collection they still had left when he, after leaving just just past the first of the year so we got it all down here kind of sorting through like a bunch of bags uh, 
a bunch of Ganonburg putters and then just a bunch of stock stuff in this box, uh, all these boxes right here. And then we got kind of some of the uh, more collector stuff in here, like team stamps, limited runs, and like test runs of stuff. So kind of sorting through that, getting ready to upload on the site. So um, be on the lookout, fairwaydisc.com. We're going to have some pretty cool drops on there of some of Ganon Burr and some other Prodigy players, uh, old collector stuff. So definitely don't miss on that. Um, yeah, we're going to sort through it all. I would show you guys the process, but it's probably kind of long and boring. So um, I guess I'll just see you guys when I'm done and we're on to the next thing. Well, we're back from the disc sorting. I didn't get all of it done today, but like I said, stay tuned for that drop. You definitely don't want to miss it. But we're here in the garage getting ready to get some network going. Um, definitely going to be trying to tweak some backhand form and forehand form. There's a few things I want to make sure I'm implementing correctly and just make sure my forehand, uh, my elbow is staying tight. That's the one thing I've been struggling with is like the, the elbow being really loose. So I've been working on that a lot lately, trying to make sure to get that honed in. But let's hop into it. just got the network done I'm pretty happy with my backhand right now I just feel like the only slight issue is that I sometimes dip my elbow but um, that's something that could be easily tweaked and fixed before I leave and then um, for forehand still having a little bit of issues keeping it tight but it's getting better like my throws are like coming out cleaner and more on the line that I'm aiming because I'm lining up my body and picking a spot on the net that I want to hit and I'm hitting it about 70 75 percent of the time so it's getting better i just got to continue to build that muscle memory and it should be good but now i think i'm gonna go out and do a little bit of field work and i think i'll be done for the day with disc golf i think uh, i'm gonna head over to a buddy's for dinner and some games later so uh yeah let's head out and do some field work and then we'll go from there Right, well we just got out to the field getting ready to throw some the goal here is just to kind of learn my bag today so i brought my bag out i'm going to do a couple trips down and back throwing some stuff on different angles and facing some different winds we got uh one wind direction going about five miles an hour Trying to work these two in the bag as well. D2 I got from Justin Rozak. It seems like a bomber. I've been trying it out a little bit, but haven't really figured it out yet. And an M4 I got from Kevin. He says it's absolutely money, so we're gonna give it a try today. Um, let's see how it goes. Shout out, Squatch Disc Golf. Easily the best bags in the game. Their storage and quality and durability is just unmatched. I absolutely love it. Some of my favorite features are the huge top putter pouch. I got seven in there right now little mini pocket over here and then we got the super nice magnetic phone clip and the super big main compartment so this is the legend 3.0 in the contrita colorway i know the lore bag just dropped if you want something smaller um, use my code elijah at checkout for 20 dollars off both of those bags and snag yourself a sweet bag um, my code only works for the traditional legend 3.0s and the traditional lore so if you do get a signature series it will support that pro that you're going towards but if you do get a traditional one make sure to use my code and that will support my season
that concludes the field work session. I thought it was pretty productive. Learned a couple things about some discs that I wasn't aware of before. Um, I think my bag is pretty set in stone. I think I'm gonna add that D2 for forehands and rollers. And then I think I'm gonna add that M4 as well. So both of those I think will be making the bag. Um, feel like feel like field work is a great way to come out and learn your bag or learn some certain molds that you might consider adding to your bag. Um, so did just that today. And I think I'm about to head over to a buddy's house for dinner and that should wrap up the day. So I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's this? Grayson making an appearance on the vlog, man. Baby, baby. <laughs> She's just... He shaved his shit. He's so nervous, he don't know how to feel. He's on, <gasps> he's on the Bickle vlog. He's got such a baby face. I know. Here you go, baby face. With the nod to the hat. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> hey, we're here, Grandpa Bickle here. With, oh my uh, God, it gets you uh, bad, bro. Grayson. It we're gets here, you bad, bro. <laughs> reminiscing of old times, playing some Uno flip. We got the beer of the root variety. Busting food. What's your thoughts, G? Just get busting. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, I'm sorry you can't get none. What's up, guys? We are back from my friend's house. It was a fun time getting to hang out with them, play some games, and eat some pretty good food. Um, I'm going to wrap up the video here as I'm pretty tired, get ready to go to bed. But um, check out all my sponsors. I will have my link tree down below. So any way that you can support me, um, that will be down below. All the sponsors I've shouted out in this video will also be down below, like in that same link tree. They're all in one. Um, let me know if you guys like this type of content because I would definitely film some more of these. I've also got a bunch of content that I filmed last year that I didn't post that I will be posting soon. So like some vlogs from tournaments and stuff last year that I didn't post. So those will be out soon. Um, stay tuned for more content. Like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.